you saw the sneak peek yesterday on my website, let me know. I would love to know what your thoughts are. Um, that was also, I've never quite done something like that before for email subscribers. So I thought that was fun this time around. Taking off Forest here. I've been wearing Forest uh, for the last week-ish. And I'm obsessed with it. It's this green here in the middle. Let me know which one of these three you want to see first. And I'll tell you a little bit more about... The inspiration I'll tell you about some comparisons yeah let me know which one you want me to start with the pink the green or the orange oh thank you Heidi yeah I felt like um I really wanted to mix it up I feel like oh thank you I feel like I've um really done mostly like muted fall collections you know like the dusty version which I love I love those colors um but just having so much fun doing a little bit of a different the orange. Okay, you got it. We can start with orange. You can, you got it. Okay, almost done. Yeah, so today we're going to do the three creams. We're going to do comparisons for these three creams. And then um, on Monday, I'm going to go live again and I'll do creams. Uh, sorry, I'll do comparisons for the non creams in this collection. Um, and I will post the replay of this to my Instagram feed. I'll also. Um, download it and get it posted to YouTube if that's where you prefer, you know, to watch longer form videos. Um, and then I'll pull the clips out and I'll put them on my website so that they're easy to see um, in case you want to reference them later. But I'm going to start with the orange. I'm just taking off the green. So the orange is Dracaris. This is... Um, inspired by dragon fire so if you're not familiar that is the word that a dragon rider uses in um game of thrones or house of the dragon to tell their dragon to you know blow fire um and i just love it i love it i'm calling it um like a bold orange red cream but there's been some discussion of whether it's you know red or orange um because i think it looks kind of red when you put it on um but I don't know. I think it looks orange in the bottle and it just depends on the lighting and the skin tone. I feel like I've seen some swatches of it so far where it looks like really red and in others it looks really orange. So it's just one of those chameleon colors that's going to look different on everybody, but I'll show you some comparisons of it and that might help you to kind of place it in your collection maybe. Um, I am going to show you it compared to some of the other more orangey shades in my collection. So um, Pumpkin is kind of my classic orange um this one's obviously much more yellow orange than red orange um compared to dracaris and then i also have these two that are more like the burnt orange right we have copper and ginger now i need to get a little bit further away so that you can see all four um so copper here is the cream ginger is the scattered hollow in the um you know kind of more burnt orange base so I feel like next to pumpkin it maybe looks a little bit more I don't know Dracaris maybe looks a little bit more red but I also want to show you it next to Patterson this one is actually retired now um maybe it'll be back someday but it's retired for now this one is from our first ever fall collection and it's a little bit more of like a brick red and it's less bright um so I think it makes Dracaris look much more orange if you just missed that, this is Patterson. This one is retired, but if you have it in your collection, hopefully this helps. Um, Patterson is much more of that like muted brick red, whereas I think Dracaris is much more of that like bright orange, you know, really, really bold red orange color. So I think those two are definitely different, but I feel like Patterson almost makes it look more orange um, than it did before. So, you know. I'm going to show you it's swatched. Oh, where's the front? Here we go. Next to these four. I'm just going to zoom out so that we can get all four in one shot. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I love Patterson too. I, it's on my short list um, to try to bring back because I love it. But it didn't make it this fall. <laughs> but maybe next year it'll come back. Um, okay. So I am going to show you these four. I absolutely love them. When I was pulling these off my shelf, I noticed that my pumpkin 
it needs to get cleaned. This bottle has been through a lot. I've had this for several years, so I'm just going to clean the neck here. And then I will show you these four on the nails. I'm so excited. Um, and I did just take off the green, so I just I was wearing Forest, which is the new green in this collection. I did just take it off, so I don't get any staining from it. I usually don't get any staining from greens unless they have like a lot of blue in them. Um, those like teals kind of sometimes give me staining, but this one usually doesn't. All right, so I'm gonna show you these four. So I um, I watched Game of Thrones, um, you know, the TV show, but actually my closest connection to Game of Thrones as a fantasy book or as a fantasy, you know, world is the books because I read or listened to, I should say, the Game of Thrones audiobooks um, every day, pretty much, like almost every day, for my entire first year of teaching. Um, I had a really long commute, I had like a 40 minute commute in the mornings and like 60 minutes in the evenings. Um, I was teaching seventh grade math, sorry, eighth grade math my first year. And um, I listened to the Game of Thrones audiobooks, like, yeah, I, I think almost every day for that whole first year. Um, and I got through, I don't think I finished the series, but I got really, really close. And honestly, it was really nice because I didn't have to make any decisions, right? I would like finish one of the books and then I just knew that I had to get the other one. Um, and I lived really close to a library so I could just walk to the library and I could get the next set of books on, on CDs. This was like 2012. Yeah, 2012. Um, and yeah, so I just like always will have a soft spot um, in my heart for those books. Um, okay, so here's Dracarys. And then my husband and I actually just watched House of the Dragon. Um, and so this one has a, has a special place in my heart, but that's what it's inspired by, is the Game of Thrones House of the Dragon universe. And I think this orange is super different from anything else in my collection. It feels really different uh, to me. And I just, yeah, I just really hope you love it. So this is going to be pumpkin on my pinky. This is kind of our classic, I call this like an uh, apricot, I think. Because um, it has that like yellow undertone that you see in some oranges. Yay, I'm glad you can join it too. Yeah, I tried to do this one during the day, and then the one on Monday is going to be at night, so trying to mix it up, <laughs> trying to hit as many people as possible. Um, okay, so here's just one coat of each of these, um, but I'm going to build them up in two so you can see what that looks like. To me, this is just like, oh my gosh, the perfect fall. Like, I just love all these oranges for fall. 13 hours. Yeah. I mean, it's nice that they're so long, right, Tracy? They can really uh, kill a lot of time, which is nice. Um, yeah. And I think for me, it was just the like not having to make a decision, right? I like would finish the book and just be like, oh, I just need to request the next one from the library. Because um, that first year of teaching, I just my brain didn't have any space to make any more decisions. <laughs> so um, it was really nice. Yeah. Okay, so that was ginger. I'm gonna put on a second coat of copper so you can see this one. This one is definitely much more brown. Um, like it's like a rusty, rusty orange. Um, so it's much more brown than either of the other two, but I love it. All right, and so now we're gonna do the second coat of Dracarys, which is the new one. And I feel like it looks really orange here, right? But I know that in the um, like real life clips that I posted earlier today, it's much more red. So I think it just depends on your lighting and your skin tone and probably what it's next to. Um, but either way, I adore it, whether it's orange or red. I'm calling it a bold red orange. That's what it's going to be called on my website. So these other three are currently available. They're not, um, uh, retired or anything, but Dracarys will be available Wednesday next week at 6 p.m. Eastern. All right, so there's Pumpkin. Made a little boo-boo. There we go. Perfect. Oh, no way. In Belfast. Oh, that's so fun. Is that where you live? Or are you just visiting? I'm curious.
yeah, fiery is definitely how I would describe it. Love it. All right, so here we go. Here are these four oranges. This one is ginger, which has a bit of that scatter holographic finish in it. And then copper, which is a little bit darker and maybe more brown than ginger, but in that cream finish. Dracaris is super bold, fiery red orange. And then pumpkin has more of that yellow orange undertone. So, you know, definitely all super different. But I feel like there's just an orange for all of my different fall moods here, right? Like if I'm a little more um, like moody and want to match the foliage, I'm going to wear one of these. And then when I'm feeling brighter and bolder, I'm going to watch wear one of these ones. Uh, I love them. Oh, nice. Okay, great. That's so fun. In Ireland at the moment. Great. Okay, so I'm going to take these off and we'll do the next one. But, oh, I just love this. So um, I did show this at the beginning, but here's Patterson, which is retired now, but was in my collection for a really long time. So if this helps you, um, Patterson is definitely more of that, like, uh, brick red. I think I called this a persimmon red. That's, like, the description that I use on my website. Um, but it's definitely not as bright and vibrant as Dracaris. Patterson is a bit more of that on the muted side um, of fall. So love that one. If you have it, um, that's how it compares. And if you don't, I'm going to try and bring it back next year. So you can vote for it when it comes up as an option <laughs> for next fall. All right, I'm gonna take these off. And then we're going to talk about, we'll do the green next. No, we're gonna do pink. I want to do pink. I love it. So Dracaris is the only one that I have announced like officially on my feed. You can go see it. Um, but these ones will be up over the next couple days. And so you're getting a little sneak peek here. Um, I'm just going to show you comparisons. This one is called Magi, M-A-G-I, and it's inspired by a character from Fern Gully, which um, was one of my favorite uh I don't know probably one of my top favorite movies when I was a kid I loved Fern Gully Maggi is the Maggi Loon is the like um older fairy who teaches Krista all about her magic and the magic of the land um and it's yeah it's a it's a just a I think she has a beautiful relationship with Krista so this is inspired by her she has a dress that she wears that's like pretty much this color um or this is my interpretation of that color of the dress so I absolutely adore that movie and I love this berry I feel like I kind of can't believe that I didn't have a color like this in my collection yet because I think this is such a classic fall shade um this is my <laughs> sample final sample bottle uh so ignore the label but I'm gonna show you it compared to afterglow which is here this one was in last year's summer collection um and it's probably the closest thing to a berry I think it's the closest thing to a berry that I have in my collection um, right now. And then this is scintillate, which obviously much darker, but I think similarly kind of falls on that like pink purple line. Like it's somewhere on that line. So I'll just show you these three afterglow is, um, low in stock right now. So it's available now and it should be available when, uh, this collection launches next week, but it is low in stock. So if you watch this, you know, in a couple weeks, it may not be available anymore, but it will be available for sure when this collection launches. This is my final sample bottle. So the way that it works is like, you know, I um, approve the, you know, we, we finalize the color and then before they, they like make the liquid and then before they pour it into my bottles and cap everything and send it over to me, they have me approve one final bottle. So it's like, okay, now that we've been mixed up, a whole batch of this color, um, you know, sign off on it before we put it in bottles. Um, so that's why this one is here. And we used to do it not in my bottles, but I found that it was really important for me to do the application with my brush and kind of get the whole experience, just do the final sign off. Um, so that's, that's what this bottle is, but I try to use them because, you know, I don't want to waste that, waste that liquid. Um, okay. So this is afterglow. Yeah, Fern Gully is so fun. Most of this collection is inspired by, um, I don't know, like fantasy worlds and series that I loved more as an adult. Um, 
but this one is one that I loved as a as a kid. <clears throat> okay, so there's Afterglow, and then I'll show you Scintillate. Obviously, these are going to be pretty different, but I'm going to show it to you. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go find my water because I'm choking over here. Okay, gotta hydrate. Here we go. So here's one coat of each of these. Um, so I would definitely, I would say Afterglow and Maggi are both um, like berries, but Maggi I think is a bit more pink, whereas Afterglow is a bit more on the purple side. Um, and Maggi I think is a little brighter maybe. But that's maybe subjective. I don't know that that's a objective fact it's my preference my my definition okay so there's two coats of Maggi and then with the two coats of afterglow I feel like um afterglow is pretty good in one coat scintillate definitely needs a second I think but afterglow is pretty good Love it. I feel like Afterglow is one of my favorite um, like transition of fall shades. And probably because in fall, I just want to wear these berries. So Afterglow works to kind of, you know, lead you into that. All right, let's do uh, Scintillate now. Most excited for. Wow, Heidi, that's so great. Yeah, I think it's really different from anything else in my collection, which, um, you know, I think it's a kind of a classic fall color. So I'm, I'm excited to, like, fill that hole for sure. All right, so here we go. Here is Maggi Afterglow and Scintillate. Uh, Maggi is a nice, rich berry cream that definitely has that, like, pink undertone. It's got a lot of the pink in it, almost like a raspberry, you know, color. And then Afterglow has more of that purple undertone. But still, I think, much like Maggi, is right on the, like, spectrum between pink and purple, right? Um, it's not totally one or the other. And then Scintillate is just, like, a really nice, deep, vampy color. Um, that I would also say is on the spectrum between purple and red, maybe, um, but much deeper and kind of a berry, like, leaning more into fall, winter time, I would say. So, oh, I love these three. Yeah, they do look good next to each other. I would put, like, maybe even rhododendron on my thumb or something for a skittle here. Rhododendron, rhododendron would be, like, the much lighter version of um, Afterglow. Yeah, Scintillate is... It's a vibe. Scintillate is a vibe. I love it. I love it. Okay. So that was the second color. I'll take these off. And then we're going to do some greens. And this is one, honestly, that um, I feel like people have asked me for. And so I'm really excited about this green. This is Forest. Love it. Um, and this one is a forest green. <laughs> you can't, it's pretty, um, Fern Gully is the goat. I a hundred percent agree. I love Fern Gully. It's such a good movie. So, so good. So, so good. If you haven't watched it, that's what I would recommend you do this weekend is go find it. It's probably on YouTube or something. Um, watch it, whether you have kids or not. If you do watch it with your kids, it's like a little scary. You know, I thought it was a little scary as a kid, but it's so good. So, so good. Okay, this one is forest. And, um, you know, true to form, it is a forest green. Um, I think this is one that looks 
Hi, Abe. Yay! I feel like USPS has been all over the place. You got yours, I think, the same time that Brandy got hers in Seattle. I'm like, how does that make any sense that that took the same amount of time? But I'm glad you got it. There's five. Yes, there's only five this time. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this one is forced. I feel like this one looks um, brighter in the bottle than on the nails. So you'll see that in a second. Um, I think it dries down. It looks to me a little more like almost Kelly green in the bottle, but on the nails, I think it looks much more forest green. So you'll see that. Um, Oh, first, this is the one that most people ask me about when I kind of previewed it in my stories. This is Lantern, which has been retired for a very long time, <laughs> but um, I think, you know, maybe looked similar on the nails, but Lantern is much more of a, like, muted, has a, like, um, what's the right word here? Like, almost like more of a blue base, and then for Forest is more of that, like, yellowy, foresty green. So hopefully that's helpful. I'm not going to paint that one on the nails, but... I'm going to just show you it because some people have it and were asking me about it. And then um, the one that I feel like it's maybe closest to, and I don't know, it's not really close to anything, but the one I would say it's maybe closest to that is currently available is Borealis. I mean, they're not that close, but <laughs> it's kind of like the richest green in my collection right now. Um, but then I do have a couple other like yellowy greens. So we have Leafy from the summer um, that has clearly a lot of the yellow. And then we have Olive, which obviously has a lot of the yellow base too. Um, but yeah, I think this one's super different from any of the greens in my collection. But I think you're going to love it. I was wearing it this week and just couldn't stop looking at it, honestly. I love green so much. Um, okay, so I'm going to show it to you. Let's see. I think I'm just going to show you. I think I want to show you more of the, like, f deeper foresty colors. Yeah, it totally makes it look teal, right? It really pulls out the blue in here. Yeah. So I think I'm going to show it to you, these four. Um, Leafy definitely has the, like, yellow undertone, but it's more chartreuse, right? It's much more yellow. So I don't actually know if that's a helpful comparison. So I'm going to show you these four. Yes, love them. And Olive, I don't think it's, I don't think it's low in stock yet. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. Um, but this one is probably the closest to being sold out. I have um, enough Borealis definitely to get us through the end of the year and enough Zinc to get us through the end of the year. Um, olive, I think will probably sell out uh, this fall. That's my guess, just if I was to predict inventory. But um, it definitely will be available when this collection launches on Wednesday. Um, okay, so I just put a little lotion on, so I'm just taking it off my nails because we all know that we have to have clean nails before we paint. And so Forest is inspired by forests. Um, I honestly was considering naming it after one of the forests in The Lord of the Rings because I feel like when I think of The Lord of the Rings, I just think of the like really rich and like well-described and well-developed forests that are in that book. Uh, and in the movies, obviously. Um, but I then when I kept thinking, I realized that actually I think like most stories, most fantasy worlds um, have a forest. So I thought about like in Harry Potter, um, there's the Forbidden Forest and there's... I think they just play, like, when I close my eyes and picture a fantasy world, um, I picture forests. I think they, they play a really amazing role in world building. Um, and so I decided to just kind of pay homage to all of them. Um, I found this really awesome blog post that somebody wrote that I'll try and find and put in my stories, just a link to it, where they really, like, they explored different descriptions of forests and the role that they played in all these different fantasy stories. It was like quite a rabbit hole that I got down. Um, and it was so fun. It was really fun researching <laughs> the, the lore. Um, so I'll try and find that blog post and put it in my stories. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think this one is lovely. And I'm going to show you it. Here we go. I keep going off screen to paint. My apologies. Like I said, I do think it dries down a little darker, at least on me, um, than it looks in the bottle, not quite as bright. 
Oh, but I just love it so much. Love it. Big green fan. Green nails just like, I don't know, they make me feel like me. You know, do you have those colors where when you put them on, you're like, yeah, those are mine. That, that makes me feel like me. Makes me feel like who I am on the inside. Um, let me know if you've seen all three now. Let me know which one is your favorite. Which one are you most excited for? These are the three creams from the collection. So this is going to be Borealis. On my pinky. And it is looking almost teal next to these greens. Yeah, right. I like I feel like I needed a green like this in my collection. I just like truly we really needed forest to join the family. I thought Okay, here's zinc. I'm going to do a second coat of zinc. This one is like the wise old sage of the of the four, you know, it's like nice and neutral. Yeah, I feel like between olive and forest, you kind of have your, like, fall green bases totally covered, right? All right, here's olive. Love. Like I said, I think Olive is, it'll be here definitely, on, you know, through the launch of this collection, but I do think it's going to sell out this season, um, and then it'll move to semi-retired, but it'll be on my short list to try to bring back um, next year, so we'll see, um, but they're definitely, it won't be around, I don't think, like, through October, I imagine it's going to sell out in September, because it's just so good for fall. Okay, so here's the second coat of forest mm -hmm. too wild oh yeah I can grab that in a second um I don't think it's on my desk oh no it is yeah okay I can show you um so wild here's wild which is what Tracy just asked about here's wild next to olive it's a little bit less of the leafy yellowy undertone of olive and it's, I think, not uh, definitely uh, all of, sorry, wild, which is what I'm holding here, is more muted. Um, forest is a little bit brighter in the bottle. Um, I do think it dries down darker on the nails. But wild kind of, I would say, falls into the, like, more muted fall colors. Um which is what I have typically gravitated towards. So I'm excited that this collection is a little different and kind of they're all united around this more bright theme. Yes. Um, and I don't know that I've shared this yet, but um, this one is called volume one. And that's because our winter collection this year is going to be volume two. So in our winter collection, we're kind of taking more of the like deeper, darker, moodier um, interpretation of fantasy um, and so there's going to be like that side of fantasy for winter, which I'm so excited about. And I've never really done that before, like built on one theme across multiple seasons. I've done it, you know, across years, like I've done flora in the spring for multiple years. Um, but I'm really excited to dive deeper into this theme, um, just like from a different season. I think it's going to be really fun. So, I mean, the colors are already finalized, so I know it's really fun, um, but I think you're going to love it. So really excited. Um, okay, here are these four greens. So we have zinc, which is definitely more of the kind of neutral, sagey green. Has a lot of gray in it. Olive is pretty much a classic olive green cream. It has that yellow undertone, but I, just like not super muted, but not super bright. Just like a classic olive. And then this one is forest a forest green. Um, it's brighter, like almost Kelly green, uh, but definitely still has that like deep foresty hue, definitely still good for fall. And then Borealis is almost a teal on the end there, but I think it just looks teal next to these other greens. Um, I call this one almost like an emerald green. And yeah, these four are lovely together and on their own. Yeah, it's a great Skittle, right? And then you could put like scape 
or something on your thumb, like at the lighter, more yellowy, leafy green. Adore it. Um, okay, so here are the three that we looked at. Um, Magi, Dracaris, and Forest. So good. I love these three. These are the three creams in the collection. And so the other two are um, not creams, obviously. And I'm going to be posting, I think over the weekend, you'll see more about all of these three colors. Um, Dracaris is already up on my feed. And then you'll see more of these two coming up in the next couple days. And then early next week, we'll kind of dive into um, the... Uh, non-creams in the collection. So Monday night at eight o'clock, I'm going to be doing comparisons live here on Instagram. Um, and again, I will post the replay um, both on my feed on Instagram and over on my YouTube channel, depending on um, where you prefer to watch your longer form videos, you can find it. But I will also be pulling the comparison clips that I just did here. I'll pull them out, um, get them all edited up, and I'll post them on the product pages for when this collection launches so you can re-watch them you know as you're building your wish list but let me know before I hop off um are there any other questions or comparisons you want to see um I'm trying to think I think I grabbed anything that anybody mentioned while we were here but if there's anything that's come up for you let me know happy to grab something else while I'm here for retired colors um I think I showed just these two. So this is Lantern and Forest. Um, definitely pretty distinct. And then I showed um, Patterson and Dracaris. Yep. Uh, oh, Magi next to Slater. Yeah, let me go grab. I don't think I have a Slater here. Let me check. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a Slater. Here's my Slater. Um, okay, so definitely not the berry tone. Slater is much more of that just like hot pink, but it has the blue tone, so they're related. Um, but I think of Slater as a as a pretty true pink, and Magi is a little bit more of that berry. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful. All right, cool. Um, well, I'm excited for this collection. I, yeah, I don't know. I just feel really inspired by this palette. I think it's bright. It's different than anything I've done for fall before. Um, and I love the theme and I'll talk more about, you know, there's only five colors. Winter is actually going to be, um, even fewer than five. Um, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to talk more about kind of why I'm making that shift and what it means for all of our polish. And yeah, I just feel, I feel really psyched about this collection. So thank you for your excitement. If you have any questions or there's anything else, that you want to see, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a DM and yay! I hope you love all five of these.